Okay, good morning everyone to Home Building Crossroads. In these three trainings that we're talking about, architects and the remodelers and builders, they're like, okay, I, I get it now. We've got to relearn or learn kind of for the first time how buildings work. And I, and I think that the, the crowd that we've been seeing is a good mix, that we get the builder's perspective on how easy is it to use that material or questions about its use or installation, showing them some case studies of success stories that I've had with the product. I think that, you know, adds to, le to the legitimacy. How often can you come to a place for uh, half a day, um, be, you know, educated by people that are really knowledgeable in the subject? As soon as I saw Peter Yost's name, um, I decided I was going to go. big takeaways, particularly on codes, has been not so much answering any one question, but um, doing it in such a fashion that I now know more what to look for. If you actually sit down and read the code and work to understand the code in the context of building science, so in the context of the things Peter and Steve were really talking about, they're way more flexible than you think they are. They're not forcing builders to build one way. They're actually uh, written specifically to allow lots of flexibility in the design. And with that understanding of the flexibility is a huge opportunity to differentiate the products that you build in the marketplace. So build a better home. Any opportunity to come to something like this and find out what is current really makes a tremendous difference in my knowledge and my ability to spec the materials, oversee the construction, and then be able to ultimately define, uh, deliver a better product to the customer.